Hello guys and welcome back to X Defiant Beta my friends and today I did say it was going to happen in one of my previous videos so today is that day. We're going to be doing some sniping boys. Whether we're going to suck at sniping or whether we're going to be doing good at sniping is a completely different story but we're going to find out. So today we're going to be using the TAC-50 sniper rifle and yeah wish me luck boys. <laughs> it's either going to go down one or two ways either we're going to be a god at it or we're going to suck at it. So let's just find out, okay? And the best thing is, this particular map as well, I've never played it before. So we got to learn the map as well. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, first time on a new map and first time using the sniper rifle. Woo! Okay, control the capture zone. Kind of reminds me of a map from the, um, the Division or something. Kind of reminds me of the Division. I get proper Division vibes from this. Look at this, man. This li out. literally is something out of the division. I swear it is. Ooh, enemy, enemy. Oh, no, 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 no. Woo! Taking him down there with a the pistol, boys. Wasn't quite the sniper, but Catch still. Lethal with a handgun, you know what I mean? Enemies, enemies, enemies. Where is everyone? Damn it, I suck. I suck at sniping. Oh, I've been shot at. Where is he? Ooh. Come on, poke your head out. Poke your head out. I dare you. Do it. Do it. Come on. Please don't. I've got a good spot here. Taking the zone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, enemy, enemy. We're in the zone. Snipey, snipey. Woo! Got the one. Come on. Oh, enemy. Uh, I was going to shoot him with my pistol then, but fair play, you got me. My reflexes aren't as quick as they used to be. Oh, this seems like a good little point. I can get some people coming from that other direction over there. Come on, Aaron. Look for them sight lines. Need some good lines of sight. Right, ah, oh, man. Come on. I need to do better than this. All them years of playing Call of Duty and sniping shouldn't come down to this. We need to do better. You know what? MP5. They're on the zone! Hey there! Alright! Come on, come on. Again. Anyone else? Sticky out! Where is he? Come on. Up there. Yeah, I might try and get to high ground if it's if it's possible. There's a lot of like elevation in these maps as well. I've noticed. Well, I'm liking this. I'm liking this map. Like I know obviously Ubisoft have made various different games and they've basically themed a lot of their maps around their games that they've released in the past. Like this is definitely themed from the division. You can 100% like tell. But I like the idea of it. It seems really good. And from a cop player's perspective. This feels like a good map for sniping and stuff. And obviously with Mark Rubin originally being a member of Infinity Ward in the past, she can tell us a lot of like Call of Duty aspects and you know, a few cod tweaks have been chucked in the into the loop of things. And I'm pretty sure maybe some of the other developers have possibly been from Infinity Ward in the past, Nathan. I wouldn't be surprised because a lot of people have moved on to different studios over the years. Capture zone on the move. Can't see anyone. They're on the zone. 
go! The one thing with this game as well, which a lot of people can literally agree with, is that with Modern Warfare 2, well, Modern Warfare 2022, I should say, um, Asita's you, you, footsteps sound dead clunky, so you're like, you, you walk as if you've got cement bricks attached to your feet, and this foot movement and hit, like you're running and stuff isn't that loud. It's, you know, at a reasonable volume. One enemy, enemy, come on. Back here on the corner. Nice. Enemy, enemy. Woo! Come on. Do it, do it, do it. I dare you, come on. Oops, someone's gone. The capture zone is changing location. Oh, no, man. I thought I was going to have him then. Get on that capture zone. Bad guy's on the zone. I'm getting wasted, boys. I'm getting wasted. Come on, Aaron. We can do better than this. But either way, I'm having fun. Regardless if this ends up being a brilliant video or not, I'm having a lot of fun. And I'm loving it, man. And I remember, that's the most important thing about yeah, gaming. A lot of people think it's just about competition, being better than other people. But in reality, it's all about having fun. That's why. That's the reason why you play in the first place. To have fun, to enjoy yourself, create memories if you're playing with other people, or have these great moments that you'll always look back at that will always define a gaming experience to yourself as rememberable. You know what I mean? For example, back in Modern Warfare 2 back in the day, I'd say I was an alright player at COD. But Captain what really Zone triggers that game being very special to me is because of the memories behind it. You know what I mean? I played it with friends. I used to have good moments playing the game in general, like the campaign was iconic and stuff. Them sort of things is what makes that game special to a lot of people. It's not just about, oh, I don't know, I had a 2KD or something. Because, to be fair, back then, no one cared about KD. Like, KD wasn't an important thing, unless you're a pro player. Like, if you're a pro player, then, yeah, KD will probably won't be special to you. Unless, of course, you like to challenge yourself to have a really good KD. But a lot of people play COD, and KD isn't really relevant to them. It's just about the camo grind. Oh, oh, basically right. stating that at the end of that game's life cycle... You've done it, and then you move on to the next game. That's just kind of how it's been for a long time now. It's like with me. I, for the last, since like Call of Duty Ghosts, I used to care about my KD. I used to really, really be persistent about it. But then, I used to say to myself, why do I care about my KD so much? Like, why do I care? Because the thing is, I'm not a pro player. Yeah, I'm a content creator, and, you know, I'm passionate about the game. But what do I play this game for? The, the grind, the progression, and to have fun. And obviously, give or take to make YouTube videos on, but I don't do it to, you know, I'm not a pro player, I don't need like a 9KD or nothing. So, recently now, I've took a big step back away from the KD sort of thing, of wanting a really top, like, top KD. Uh, Modern Warfare 2022, I need to even know what my KD is in that game. I'd be surprised if it's a positive, because a lot of the time I'm grinding out weapons I don't really like to use, just so I can get cameras so. done. So, <laughs> that didn't surprise me. But anyways, let me know if you are the same or not down below in the comment section. Do you care about your KD ratio? Let me know. But anyways guys, I did try to do some sniping there. I think I did alright. It wasn't the best, but I did okay. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. What do you think of the TAC-50 sniper rifle within X Defiance? Do you want to see more videos on this game? Let me know. And with that being said, I'll catch you all again next time. I hope that, hope that each and every single one of you out there have a fantastic day and that you all stay safe and well. And also, if you're watching this video on my main channel, check out the link in the description. It'll take you over to my second channel where I upload various different other content as well. So make sure you go ahead and check out my second channel. If you're watching this video on my second channel, check out the link. It'll take you over to my main channel if that doesn't confuse you enough. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care.